Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wolle, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install SSE Engine Fixes, SSE Engine Fixes SKSE64 plugin by Ares and Nukem. You will need SKSE64 along with SkyUI in order to install this. You don't have to worry, it doesn't, it does not conflict with ENB or does it conflict with, um, it doesn't conflict with Papyrus Utility or J Containers. So what does SSE fixes do? It fixes a lot of fixes on this Skyrim engine when it comes to the double tree perk. It fixes that, slow camera time movement, fixes the camera movement or stationary during slow time effects, stationary vertical sensitivity, and also fixes um, the save corruption bug as well. And it does fi temporary fix for um, SSE64 for race menu detected. So it'll help out with the crash with that. It does fix a, a few other things as well. You can read them on the Nexus description page if you'd like. I'll leave a link. To, there'll definitely be a link in the description down below to check it out. I'm going to be showing you how to download and install it with Nexus Mod Manager. This is pretty simple. This, this is a pretty simple installation and shouldn't take you too long. So the first thing you're going to do is just download part one of the mod, which you can download in any, any manager as you choose. Download through the manager or download it manually. I'm going to download it manually for this tutorial. I'm then going to install it through my here, as I normally would, to my download folder. I'm then going to install it through here. Now we're going to download part two. Part two is two DDLs. These are you're going to need. These are going to go on your Skyrim directory, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So go ahead and download it like you normally would. Open up your download folder. And where you find it, you'll find it here. Engines part two. All right, here's the, here's the mod you're going to find. You're, now you're going to unzip this mod. You're going to grab the fixes, you're going to you're going to copy these. You're going to open up your Skyrim directory and you're going to place them in here. Place files. And that's it. It's that simple. You can then start your game and it should be you should be, should be good to go. Make sure that SKC64 is plugged in, make sure SkyUI as well, and make sure you have these two DDLs in here. When you run it, you will find a log that says this, that it is working properly. This is what the log will look like. But you only get this after you run your game. Alright? Alright everyone, that's it for SK our uh, SSC Engine Fixes for Nexus Mod Manager. Hope, this, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and the rest of this mod you can just go ahead and delete like you normally would. All right, so guys, what do you think of SSC fixes? Is it working really out really well for you? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please make sure you guys endorse the mod. It's by Ares and Nukem. Uh, endorsing them, letting them know that you appreciate all the work that they've done for, for us. We'll hopefully, continue to conti one to continue to fix the engine and to uh, add more to this mod. And hopefully, see what the they do in the future. Go ahead and vote as well if you'd like. There's, that's always appreciated. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell on the side to make sure you can you get my videos when they upload. You guys can also follow me on Twitch. You can follow me on Twitch as well. You can also follow me on Instagram and uh, Twitter. I like to post on Twitter once in a while. So if you guys want to hear some of my stupid stuff or look at some of the videos I, I like to like on YouTube, the Twitter, you, you'll find those on there as well. Anyway, guys, once again, my name is Tony Wolle. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.